Well, Cass, before we get your thoughts then on France and Mbappe, France's all-time leading striker is Olivier Giroud, and he believes mm. we still haven't seen the best of Mbappe. Kylian is basically one of the best players I play with. He's amazing and he's still young, which is scary because he still can improve his game. But he's very efficient, you know, and um, from uh, the beginning of the competition, he's been uh, crucial for us. Very decisive, uh, very competitive. He's obviously, um, yeah, if I can say, the... Yeah, the best striker I play with and all of the teams uh, I play. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we've not seen, uh, we still have not, not seen the best of Kylian. I, I hope it, it's going to come uh, soon uh, and uh, it will beat all the records. So I know that, uh, you know also. Yeah, that's it. I think uh, he's uh, unbelievable. So that was Olivier Giroud and his thoughts on killing Mbappe, who's going to break loads of records, he's saying there. He's only just become the all-time leading goal scorer for France, but he obviously knows eventually that's going to be surpassed by Mbappe at some stage. So the question is, Cass, can Mbappe be stopped? Well, ultimately, of course he can be stopped. But he's proving everybody, well, certainly in this World Cup and in the previous World Cup, that he couldn't be stopped. So... It's a huge job for Carl Walker, because we know where he'll play, to maintain his consistency in his game and also trying to stop a player that any given moment can cause you trouble. Now, I say this, Nat, because there are individuals that have played massive parts in teams being successful. That Obviously, Maradona has done that. I would add that certainly Steven Gerrard is a Liverpool player and a, a fan of the club, that there was, if you said to me, could Liverpool have won the Champions League in 205 without Steven Gerrard? No, they couldn't. One individual can make the ultimate, ultimately make the difference. And I believe Kylian Mbappe can do that because he's so gifted, so quick, um, and he plays with zero fear. You know, we're talking like 23. Imagine if he wins two World Cups back to back at 23 years old. <laughs> You know, that and, and B, which is probably very likely, if he gets to the final and they obviously win it, he's probably going to be the leading goal scorer. So he'd be back to back leading goal scorers in two tournaments and lifted two World Cups. Don't tell me, if anyone says to me that France 2018 winners, they couldn't win the World Cup without Kylian Mbappe. He was so pivotal to them in 2018. And he's just as important today. If they're going to win it, he's going to have to carry on doing what he's doing now. We were at the Tunisia-France game, which France lost. Um, it was just that one goal that was in it. <laughs> Mbappe didn't start that game, so um, this might be a bit harsh. To, But he came on and he didn't look effect, effective at all. Now, mm. obviously, this is a slightly different France. I think De, De, Deschamps had made up nine, nine changes. Nine, it was nine changes, yeah. But he did eventually have to bring on Mbappe, um, Rabiot, Griezmann, Dembele, for example, trying to win that final game. And it didn't quite work out. Is there anything that you can remember from that Tunisia game that they were able to stop and stifle Mbappe? No, he was just shooting from ridiculous positions and got a little bit carried away in the game. You can't take on a game, Nat, where France had already quali qualified, mm. got six points and comfortably were through. And I I wouldn't take that as a, you know... No, I was just a, be to say a benchmark if you'd seen for me. I that look... they had done. That no, England no, there wasn't. He was quite from. wasteful and looked like he tried a few things. It was a bit like a training game to him when he came on. It was about twenty minutes to go, I think, something in that sort of time frame. Um, no, I look. This is way different from coming on with sure. twenty minutes to go and playing against England in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Yeah, and he loves these moments. But to think, if you're England, have to contain him. Because otherwise he'll, he'll he'll just otherwise he'll just run he'll run riot through the team, because he's capable of doing that, and and that's against really good players. He can embarrass really terrific fullbacks. He can do that. That's how good he can be. Mm -hmm. And if you know if you you're thinking well, if he can get improve again from twenty three to twenty six, you know then what sort of player is he going to be in three years time? 